you? How you doing? Welcome to Fat Matt's Kitchen. I'm your host, Fat Matt. Two T's in fat, two T's in Matt. Get it right. Today we're going to um, do something that's never been done before. You know, a lot of people say, yeah, I like penny alla vodka, rigatoni alla vodka, 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 vodka. Well, I say, you know, forget the alla vodka. Why not alla tequila? <laughs> So today we're going to make some regatoni ala tequila. We got our fresh chopped garlic, we got our salt and pepper, we got our olive oil, we got our supersada asiago cheese combination, of course, we got the tequila, you know what I'm talking about. We got our little fancy grater, just in case we decide to get a little fancy up in here. Obviously our regatoni. And the most important ingredient out of all of them, Mama Kirsch's homemade sauce. We're going to start off by cutting half a tablespoon of butter out of a butter stick. Bring it over to our saucepan while the flame is on medium high. Add our olive oil. A light surface that should cover the bottom would be just perfect for the amount you want to make. Add our two cloves of garlic. They're all chopped up fine, nicely. Then we are going to stir it around and let it simmer for a little bit, get a nice little simmer going. Then we're going to add our tomato sauce. Pre right here I'm using about three cups, but you could use anywhere to three or four cups depending how strong you want the sauce to be or how much sauce you want to make. The less tomato sauce for more creamy, more tomato sauce for less creamy, obviously. Stir it around, make sure it's evenly distributed. While that's cooking, my favorite part's coming up, the tequila. Ay! What you want to do is allow a half cup of tequila. Once the tequila is in, we stir it around. Make sure the tomato sauce and the garlic absorbs the tequila. For our final steps, what we're going to do is make sure your pot of sauce is off the burner and just simmering down. Because our next step, you cannot, I repeat, cannot cook the milk and the cream for that long. Or else you would get extremely sick, which is not fun. So we're going to take about a half cup of milk right here. Dump it in there. Now as you notice, as I'm adding the dairy products, the sauce is getting thicker and thicker. That's what you want. The sauce is supposed to get thicker. Next, we're going to take our heavy cream. Any brand would do, but... Tuscan is the brand today. We're gonna dump it on in there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. That's nice. Perfect. After that is completed, stir it on up. In the meantime, while the water is boiling for our pasta, and our sauce is complete. We're gonna chop up our super sada to put it in our sauce to give it a little extra uh -uh, if you know what I'm talking about. Roll it up and cut. So once the chopping of the meat is complete, take it over to the sauce. Put it in there. Now for those that don't know, Super Sada is Bacon's cousin and Ham's uncle. Very delicious. Once we got our water boiling, what we're going to do is we're going to take our rigatoni, open up out of the package. So we're going to do it like this. Be very gentle too, because you don't want to burn yourself. Once the pasta is finished boiling, we're going to take our noodles, and we're going to drain them right now in what we call a drainer. Yeah, I know it's complicated, right? Once we got our dry noodles, we're going to put them back in the pot. We're going to put it back, make sure on a different burner, because you don't want to burn the pasta, but you still want it to be hot. We take our sauce. They're going to have sex, and we're going to make regatoni a la tequila. Oh, yeah. That, get that. 
sure it's nice. After your feast is completed, if you want, give a little extra touches, you can take a tiny little grater, some Asiago, and have a kiss for a little bit. Nice little love. You know, nice little spritzer all over. Now for the final touches, Fat Matt gets fat. <laughs>